everyone, Nevada Nail Person, and it's the end of the month. Can you believe October is almost done already? I just cannot believe it. So today I thought I'd share um, some nail polishes I picked up through the month, either through some monthly boxes or as I was shopping in CVS or Walgreens. So, so we have some brand names, some mass appeal, some in boxes, so various names. So I thought I'd just share it and we'll go from there. But are my eyebrows straight? That's like my obsession. I don't know if women, if you realize this, but when you get older your eyebrows go away and you have to draw them on. So I am eternally trying to look at my eyebrows to make sure they're straight. So forgive me because it's late and I probably wiped them off at this point already, but I digress. Let's get back on nail polish. So I have my trusty nail, nail wheel of fun. And of course, the, this will be two coats, no top coat. Um, I don't think I put any top coat on any of these guys. They're all two coats. Um, I would say um, regular thickness, normal, not too thin, not too thick. Um, so I'll just go through one by one. So the first one here is a julep color. This was my julep box. And this is called Margarita. And it is a deep plummy purple color. It is a cream. And of course I will include um, the close up as well. The next guy is, this is a really beautiful color. This one is called Nancy. Nancy. And it is a beautiful, like a steel, grayish blue, metallic y shimmer. Really quite nice. Again, I will have a close up. And um, what box was this in? I think a bow bombshell. I think I opted out. I think I changed the box this month, the bombshell. And then I added two, and I got a boho glam, and this is Tia, which is a beautiful black jelly with gold glitter. Not micro glitter, but not giant glitter either. But this is it on the nail wheel. So you can absolutely see that glitter in there. It's beautiful. So very season appropriate as well. The next three are come from L'Oreal. So I got this in either CVS or Walgreens. And I first bought this one. And this one, I love the name on this one. It's called I Like a Chunky. And it is a beautiful, it looks, it's like, um, like an OPI sand, liquid sand type of nail polish. But it's this orangey gold beautifulness and here it is a, a close-up of it and again this is not with a top coat so I'm sure it would be a different effect with a top coat. I probably should have included a top coat as well so you can kind of see the difference but it is a beautiful fall um, orangey brownish nude color so very pretty and because I like this one so much, next time I went, I also got this guy. And this is called the Statement Piece. And it is like a gold. Same idea. It's like a liquid sand. So a gold shimmery um, sand color. So you can see the glitter pieces in there. So it dries matte. There's, that's this one. So this I could see in the holiday as well, too because it has that gold reflect in it. And because I couldn't resist all the fall colors, I also got the black one. And this one is called Rough Around the Edges. So again, a liquid sand, there's two coats. There it is, all chunky and beautiful. So that was my three L'Oreal purchases. 
now I have some of the items I got in some of the boxes I got. And I don't know if I hauled all these boxes. But in one of them I got a Julie G polish. I believe this is uh, Beauty Box 5. And I believe this is the color Romeo. And it is a corally cream color. That's this one right here. So more of a springy color for me. But again, nail polish in a monthly box is always a good thing. The next one is another item that I got in a monthly box. I don't remember which one. It's the NCLA, and this is in the color Cat Walk Queen. And it is a nude color, this beautiful nude color. I tried a little matte, as did the Julie G for me as well. But, um,. I like this. This is really like a whitish, I would say it's a cream color, like a true cream that comes off. It's not white. It's not beige. So that, I like that color a lot. Next two I got in one of my many Mimi boxes. I don't remember what one. And it is by um, NSM, so it must be a Korean brand. And that is this lovely, I want to say almost like a violet, because I see a blue tone in it. So it's a flat color. Definitely would want to use a top coat with it. Um, two coats. Pretty opaque for two coats as I'm looking through my clear nail wheel here. So that was two coats. That's pretty opaque. Beautiful color. The next one is also from NSM. And I believe there were no names on these polishes. They just had some letters and numbers. The purple was PP514. And the orangey one was OR245. So this is the orangey color. And this one was more of a jelly based. Because you could kind of see through it. So you could probably do some jelly sandwiches with all this massive glitter that I have as well. So that's a beautiful orange too, and I like my orange polishes. The next one is this awesome, awesome color from Nana Coco, and that is again from another birch box, beauty box, one of my many monthly boxes. So um, never had anything from this brand before, so this is my first bottle, and here it is on the nail wear, and look at that blue. Is that gorgeous or what? Just loving it. Oh, really nice. And two more. I guess I stopped in Sally's at some point and picked up something. I don't remember what, but they did have some Orly on clearance, as you can see. And this is Orly Foul Play. And it is like a black... Um, no, this is the purple one. The purple jelly with um, various glitters in it. It's like um, like orangey blue. You can see it has all different types of glitters so it kind of felt fall appropriate, Halloween pro appropriate as well. So very pretty and here it is on the nail wheel. And you can see some of the glitter there. And then finally, the last one that I have for this haul is another Orly that was reduced. And this is the color Androgyny. And it is a black with um, some micro, not micro, um, sort of like a holographic almost shimmer because I see different colors in there. You can see it. I see some silver, some, some micros. And some standard sized glitters, but there's like different colors. And here it is on the nail wheel. So it's, um, that's two coats. I probably want to do three with these Orleys. So you can see the glitter there. So that's all I have for now. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. That's my various nail haul for October. I will link below some of the other hauls that I had. I've had some Rainbow Honey, um, 
Gee, a couple of Rainbow Honey. I had some, quite a few indies. I know with uh, Walking Dead starting off, um, starting up again for the season. I had some uh, Dollish Polish and Native War Paints. Beautiful colors, beautiful polishes. So I'll link them below. Have a look if you haven't already. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye.